I feel like it's been a little while since we looked at the workshop. So let's have another look at it. Today I wanted to carry on from where we left off when we looked at these scout weapons and instead look at these soldier weapons today on the workshop or at least like a couple of them. I'm not obviously not going to look at every single one of them but here's some that I found that I thought were really cool. And hopefully maybe one day when Valve decide that TF2 deserves an update again we could end up seeing some of these quite interesting concepts for TF2 weapons in the game. I mean I don't know when that day will come or if it will ever come but it was worth a try anyway. <laughs> Also, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone for all of the support recently. June might actually be the best month on YouTube for my channel ever. And I thought April was that month and I wouldn't ever be able to hit it again. But June is fairly close right now. So please keep the support up. Please keep the likes coming, the subs and all of that stuff. And I'll make sure that I am making the best videos I possibly can be making for you guys to enjoy. And by the time that you guys are watching this video, I will be doing the second half of the 12 hour stream I was doing to celebrate 75k subs. So check out the Twitch link in the description below because we're going to do another six hour stream there with games that you should be able to join in on like TF2 community servers that you guys can join in on and get into future videos because I'm going to be filming a lot of footage over there. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first one I wanted to look at, it's a rocket launcher and it's called the Havoc Attack. Now this thing looks insane. Also like it would take up the entire half of your screen. But regardless, it's a cool looking rocket launcher and it's actually very, very different to stuff that's already in the game. And I think a rocket launcher that shoots two rockets but with like a much bigger explosion radius and maybe a bit more damage or something like that would actually be really interesting to try out. Like this weapon looks like it would be interesting and cool and like a bit technical and stuff like that and i'd be excited to try something like that out actually in the game now i'm not going to say it would be the best weapon in the entire game but it would be interesting to see it and try it out for a bit and i could see some crazy things being done with it actually so yeah i'd be excited if this thing got announced to be in the game Next up, we have the pick.exe. Now, I don't know why I never thought of this, but robo weapons should be a thing. We've already got robot hats. Why not make like some robot weapons? I think that actually would be really, really cool. So this thing is basically the escape plan or the equalizer, but it's robotic. And this thing looks amazing. Like I actually really, really want to see this type of thing and this concept in the game as well. It has jiggle bones also, so it swings around a bit as you're walking, which I think would be quite funny, especially because, you know, it's a pickaxe and that sounds quite dangerous if you're just letting that swing around. But you could do some serious damage yourself with that. And honestly, I just think that if certain weapons had like a robo version to it, it might actually be quite an interesting concept. And I'm excited to see if anybody else has made like robo weapons or, you know, if a few more are going to be made after this or anything like that. Because I think it's quite a cool concept. And, you know, this, for example, the pick.exe looks sick. So I would definitely be picking one up if it got added into the game. Like, hands down, I'd be one of the first people to own one. Next up, we have this rocket launcher called the Follower. Now, this actually looks like an interesting concept for a rocket launcher, to be fair. I'm not 100% sure what the little screen on it would actually indicate in TF2, because I think the enemy locations might be a little bit too powerful for putting that on a gun. It's basically wall hacks, but, you know, on a weapon. Maybe if it showed you, like, the direction or, like, the general area that bullets were being fired and that the fighting was going on, that would be quite cool. Again, I'm still not quite sure. You'd have to balance it if it was going to indicate anything or if it's there just to show. That's cool, too. When I did first look at this and I read the name, obviously the name of this is the follower, it looks like you should almost be able to control the rocket slightly. Like when I first saw it, I thought of the guided missile launcher from Fortnite. Now I know a lot of people would not like hearing Fortnite, but you can't lie that some of the weapons in Fortnite, like the concepts of them, were actually quite interesting. And I feel like this one would be quite an interesting thing to have in TF2. I'm not 100% sure how well it would work or if it would be overpowered or anything like that in TF2 but it could be quite interesting regardless. Next up, we have the Raiding Aid. Now, this is just a nice looking shotgun, to be honest, and I'm not sure what its stats would be, but it definitely looks the part to be in TF2. Like, this looks like a TF2 shotgun. I'm not sure what other game this would fit as well as Team Fortress 2. There is a stats page on all of these weapons that people can use to like discuss what this weapon could do. So this one said it would do a bit more damage and a bit of a higher fire rate, which would be quite cool. And also like a slower reload time and maybe even a fire vulnerability. And to be honest, they sound like decent downsides for a weapon that would have a faster fire rate and more damage. So 
I think that would work quite well in TF2. Obviously, maybe they'll change those stats a little bit with people suggesting other stuff. I have no idea. But I think the shotgun would just be quite nice. And it would be a little bit different. It would be quite cool. And it definitely looks the part, in my opinion, anyway. And the good thing, this would also be available on multiple classes and not just the soldier because the shotgun works on the most classes out of any other weapon in the game. As far as I know, I might be wrong, but I don't think I am on this one. Uh, no, I think I'm right. Either way, it's a really cool looking shotgun. Next up, we have the Danger Ranger, and this thing looks crazy. It's like some futuristic, like, laser-looking rocket launcher. This is like the guy she told you not to worry about, and you're the cam angler. It genuinely just looks like a better version of that. A little bit smaller, but size doesn't matter, or, you know, so I've been told. Moving on quickly from that, I think this would be quite an interesting weapon to be added into TF2. Maybe even with the robot pickaxe we saw earlier, like a robot alien future something else update maybe. It just looks really, really well made and I'd be interested to see what it actually does in TF2 and what kind of features they can come up with for it. There's a whole bunch listed on the actual workshop page and I'd be interested to see what would change if it got added into the game or if it would just stay like that. So it's just quite cool. I just quite like it. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you go and check out all of the creators of these workshop items in the description. The quality of work on there is truly incredible and all of these creators deserve all of the love you guys can give to them. Once you've done that, also please make sure you leave this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I also want you guys to let me know what other workshop stuff you guys want to see me look at in videos. There's loads and loads of really cool stuff on there for me to check out. I just need to know what you guys want me to look at first. So thank you all once again for all of the support and all of the love recently. I don't think I'll ever be able to say it enough, but I will see you all next time. Goodbye.